Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and I'm just trying to get this guy knocked out of the air because he is a pretty good one. I saw him over on the beach, and I followed him over here. But you know what? Let's... Come on, dude. Just get over here, buddy. All right? I got a bola. I need to hit you with it. Come on, dude. All right. And... I got him. All right. That's good stuff. All right. Let's see if we can get him knocked out. And then, uh, yeah, I don't want to kill him. But um, I'm just going to hammer him with uh, crossbow bolts until he falls unconscious. There we go. All right. So he's out. All right. And uh, he's a 140. And, I mean, uh, because Taming Buddy, he wasn't a very high level one. But this guy right here, he, he will be a much better tame if we can get him tamed up. And I'm not even sure I can get him tamed up. I don't, I'm not sure I have enough narcotics. But, I mean, if we can get him uh, tamed up, that would be amazing. And we've got some pretty cool stuff um, in store for today. Um, I think I'm going to probably AFK around the base a little bit because we've got those crops that need to get grown. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I think Bubba and I, we're gonna head out on an adventure today over across the way over by the beacon way over there but oh there's a fish all right so yeah i'm gonna get this guy tamed up get him buddy and i will uh see you guys in a bit get over here buddy give me the fish come on come on give me the fish give me the fish we got we got lots of stuff to do get over here buddy all right see you guys in a bit all right coming back up here i i brought bubba over uh just to help me out with a little bit of uh berries and I mean, it, it's really proved to be uh, quite advantageous. And um, Taming Buddy, I mean, one Taming Buddy, this guy right here is amazing. This second Taming Buddy is just going to be phenomenal. It's amazing. I love these guys. They're so cool. <laughs> Oh man, now we need to go get, we need to go find us an Equus is what we need. We need to have our rock carrots hurry up. And um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm probably going to just AFK for a while here soon. See if we can get some uh, rock carrots up and going. And let's go take a look over here at the situation. Let's see. Let's get uh, you brought up. Uh, yeah, it's been a while uh, since. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. Uh, stamina. He's only up to 226 already. Um, oh, it's just a female. Hey, you can give us eggs. All right, I'll take Tyranodon eggs. All right, and this guy's going to get up here pretty soon. It's the middle of the night. I've been taming this guy all the way through the night. And his stats, his pre tame stats are already better than um, Taming Buddy. Here, let me show you. All right, uh, Taming Buddy. Taming Buddy's really good. And he's, uh, I mean, he's really helped us out. Um, let's see. Uh, he's got 174 melee damage, 302 uh, health. And those are the important stats on this guy. This guy right here. He's got 620 health. He's already double, and he's got 180. So even though I've been leveling up this guy's uh, oh melee damage, this guy right here, already better. And uh, I'm going to call this guy... Um, let's see. Uh, well, we already have a Taming Buddy. Well, let's go Taming Buddy too. There we go. All right, let's take a look at your stats. All right, let's make sure you're not following me. 201. Wow, you tamed up really well. Uh, 940 uh, health. 270 melee damage. Oh, yes, you're going to be getting us some good fish, buddy. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's get you. Uh, I'm going to get Bubba. Taming buddy, chill out right there. I'll be right back for you, buddy. All right, so we're about to head out. I think I've got 24 carrots or something like that. It's not many. Um, but, yeah, I think before we go, we're going to uh, learn... Some new armor, because I think we're ready to step up, meaning we're a little past due. So let's go like that, get some hide armor going. Let's see, uh, crafting. Let's get one that, one that, one that, one that, one that. And then as that crafts up, let's see, let's just stick that one on there. All right. There we go. All right, and let's get this one there. It's not updating the picture. It's kind of funny. I wanted an updated picture. Why aren't you updating my picture? <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. Now we're updated. All right. That's cool. All right. So now we've got a flinger with a beard. A big beard. We're grizzly Adams in it right now. All right. So, yeah. We're going to head out over here. And then, um, yeah. I'm not going to have you got. I'm not going to record the entire as we get over there, but I think we're going to go over to the other side of over there, and let me see. Let me make sure I brought everything. 
Um, oh, well, you don't need the stone. We'll just throw that out. We've got some stem berries. We've got some rock carrots. we got some uh, other berries just in case. Uh, let's put this on you. All right. And then uh, we got some carrots. So we've got that going on for us. All right. So let's get over here and let's see what we can see. All right. And, oh, the Tronodon way up there. All right. All right. I, I have to make sure to not be... Uh, you know, swayed by the many pieces of candy that are going to jump out at me on this trip because this is, this is a brand new playthrough and I'm going out in the world for the very first time off the island that we've uh, kind of been uh, stranded on for a while. But, I mean, this island is so cool, but I'm anxious to get off the other side and go over there and see what we can see. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, Bubba. We're about to... Uh, Cross this river, all right? We not we might not be coming back. I might be respawning. All right, Taming Buddy 2, are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's see, let's make sure there's no piranha out here. Come on, Bubba. You got this, girl. You got this, boy. I swear, I'm going to eventually learn that you are a boy. Either that or I'm going to rename you Lawnmower. One of the two. All right. And as we get up here, because we're going to go up here in these trees. I want to go see what all we can find. You with me? All right. Come on, buddy. What is that? Are you a Microraptor? No, you're Nick the Ornus. All right. Microraptors are a big pain in the butt. I mean, big pain in the butt. And up here, I have to be careful because there's a lot of Carnos and stuff up here. So right now, I'm just on foot. And you know what? Let's put you on low. All right. Because I want you close to me. I don't want to have to run back and find you if something comes out and decides it wants to eat my... There's a Therizinosaurus. These guys are pretty tough. Um, level 10, they can actually, um, knock you off the back of your dinosaur if they hit you right. And then they have a torpor attack, it can knock you out, and then they just do a ton of damage. They're like, um, oh, the vegan T-Rex. They don't eat meat, but they sure <laughs> hit like they do. Alright, let's come up here. See what we can see. And I've had a lot of good luck up here finding uh, Equus and other stuff up here. I mean, I hope we can find one. I'm not going to bet on being able to find one, but that'd be kind of cool. What are you? 40. All right. You all right, Bubba? All right. Bunch of raptors over there. Let's go this way. And the reason why I, I'm only kind of hopping on Bubba every once in a while through here is because through these trees, it, it's kind of hard to see. So when recording and going over here, see, I mean, look at this. Yeah, that's a good recording. Yeah, let me tell you. So, yeah. We'll just be walking for the most part. Some packies right there. Packies aren't that bad on the low levels. Um, they're not going to aggro us. You can see, look at this. They won't aggro us, but they're actually pretty good. They have a, like a Torpor charge attack, which is kind of neat. Um, where are you running from, buddy? Huh. All right. Come on, Bubba. You got this? How are you, buddy? Oh, Mo Shops. With Leech Blood. All right. Okay. All right, heading up here. All right, let's see what we've got up here. I've got a Diplodocus following me. I killed a raptor that uh, was attacking it, but now apparently it's aggro on me, and it just keeps wanting to come up and give me this little love nudge. See, they won't they won't hit you. See, look at this. They won't actually hurt you unless if you know you're on a carnivore trying to eat them. See, no damage. They just push you back. It's just a little love tap. It's like, hey, buddy, 
How you doing? Remember me? Yeah, let's play. Yeah, and that's really all it is. They're not gonna hurt you. And they'll just love tap you and push you all around. Alright, so what do we got down there? Another Therizinosaurus. What level are you? Level 45, mate boosted. Stop it, dude. There's a Carno down here. What level are you? 125, that's not bad. Um, I'm not big into Carnos, but a 125 is pretty good. Especially at this low level. It also, uh, start a world of hurt on us. Or open up a world of hurt on us. Alright. Yeah, good job, Diplo. Keep going. Alright, so let's get over here. Alright, it's early morning, and there's a Carno right over here. So we're gonna go see if we can take this guy out. Alright, let's keep you... Give me a knockback, dude. Come on. You got this, Bubba. You got this. Hey. Hey, Mr. Trike, that was ours. That's okay. I won't be too mad at you. Alright. <laughs> that was cool, though. The little Trike came and uh, helped us. Uh, that's not bad. Alright, coming up here. Now I've just been cruising out over here through the woods. Through the night. Trying to see if I can see anything. And I haven't seen too much. But... That's how this area over here works. I mean, there's so many trees that um, cool dinosaurs can get uh, hidden in it. True done right here. Later, dude. Come on. Trudons, you have to worry about. Yeah, they're buddies, right? There's their buddy. Alright, you still alive? You come back up and try to get some? Huh? What level are you? You must be really high level. Doing great, Bubba. Keep it up. Oh, hey, Trink Arrows. I'll take those. Thanks. All right, see what we got up here. Oh, hey, an Equus. Hey, cool. You're just chilling out. I don't want that. I want that. <gasps> Holy crap, 130. All right, let's see. Can we do this? Um, Bubba, give me the carrots. Put them down there. Where'd you go, Mr. Equus? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Let's put you on lowest. There you are. Where are you going? Yes, all right, let's see. Can we get you stuck? On Bubba. Alright, come on. Now, Taming and Equus, they're a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, because they'll run all over the place. So the easiest way to tame them is put whatever dino you're with on follow on the lowest. Yeah, alright. And then they'll come up and try to push you against the thing. Which is kind of cool. Here, watch this. See, I'm getting stuck on Bubba here really quick. And it, it's really good. But you have to put the taming food down in the zero slot. And then down in the bottom left. You see where it says effectiveness, 100%. And then taming, 31%. And then right there it says use taming food. Um, before you get bucked off, you have to quickly use um, the 
and press the use key, not the zero key, the use key. And then you can uh, get, you get the taming effectiveness that way. If you do it wrong, if you press the button, any other button, when it says that, it'll buck you off and you'll lose taming effectiveness. And it takes a lot of practice to get this. And I, I've, I've, yeah, it's taken me a long time to get the, <laughs> the practice for this. Um, the best thing I can do, say, is find lower level ones. And I'm surprised that this right here, I'm finding such a high level one to begin with. Because this is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to take a look around. Because normally you find these guys in groups of uh, two or three around the island. Sometimes even up to four. And usually the packs will get spread around. And I was through here. I was, went through here earlier. And I didn't see any Equus. But obviously it took these guys out of stasis. And then it bounced them around. But because they'll get attacked by stuff. They'll go running off. And then they'll just scatter. Which kind of sucks. But it worked out well for us this time. But it also means that there's somewhere around here in these woods, there's a couple more Equus. And I might want to find them. But this is really, really cool. Alright, let's see if we can get this last couple ones. But if you can't get um, pinned like I am right now between Bubba and this tree then these guys, they'll run all over and you'll get aggro off everything and then they'll get hit and lose their taming um, taming percentage. You have to start all over a couple times. And I don't have many carrots, so this is proving to be quite fortuitous indeed, which is just awesome and amazing. All right, let's see if we can get this last couple. Should be two tames or two of them. Come on, buddy. Come on. You want to eat it? Come on. Eat the carrot. The carrot's awesome. The carrot's amazing. It's just a carrot. It's fresh. I swear. I mean, Bubba was carrying around in his armpit a little bit, but it's okay. All right, there we go. 90%. All right, we got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. It's a carrot. You want the carrot, don't you? Mmm, juicy carrot. With a little bit of bubba juice on it. 99%, of course. Last one, it didn't give, want to give me 10%, so... Gotta go with one more. But then we'll get 100% effectiveness. Yes! There we go! Alright, we've got an Equus. Alright, um... What are we gonna name this dude? Well, what is it? Is it a dude or a, a not a dude? Alright, let's see. Let's get over here. Let's see. All right, so we've got, bub, bub, thanks. All right, are you, what are you? You're female, hey! A female, 194 Equus. Oh, okay, right. we're gonna have to come up with a really awesome name for you. Cause on Scorched Earth, I was playing through there and I named him Butt Spud, but a Butt Spud isn't gonna go for a female Equus. That's not a female Equus name. I don't care what you say, Bubba. No, that's not a female Equus name. All right, so we're going to have to come up with something really awesome for this Equus. But yeah, we're going to head back to base. But on the way, I think I might want to take a look, see where there's a, more Equus. Because we found this one. It was up here, just right on the top edge of that. Which means that the other Equus could be... Oh, where are you? You could be anywhere around here. Are you like the, the lone survivor of your your herd? I don't know. All right, well, let's let's get down here. All right, now um, these Equus, uh, combined with the Ichthyornis, are two of the best taming dinos, the pairings that I know of, because they are like the ultimate. Trudon, you're not gonna aggro, right? All right. Let's just speed up ahead. All right, um, they're two of the best taming dinos that you can get if you pair them up because the equus the right click attack that the little back kick is heavy heavy torpor attack um but uh 
Oh, and then the front attack, that right there, it's just really just good for gathering berries. It doesn't do that much damage. The back kick does a whole ton of torpor, which is huge. You can knock out dinos with it. And it does it pretty quickly, too. Um, and then combine that with the Ichthyornis. With the Ichthyornis, you can go out and you can get prime meat off just about anything. So combine the two, and you can tame just about anything. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. And then also, if you're taming an herbivore, um, you can uh, use the front attack on the, uh, on the Equus to get berries. I'm not seeing any more Equus. I mean, I'm kind of looking. Maybe I'll just run back through the woods later with just uh, the Equus to see if we can find any more. Because if there's one, there's more. That's the way the Equus work. If there's one, there's more. Even if they get split up. But sometimes they'll get attacked by raptors. And, well, all the time they'll get attacked by raptors. And dillos and stuff like that. So they, if they get pinned against a rock or something, they, they will die. And they'll die quick. Ah, but this is such an awesome find. All right, well, I'm going to get back to base. I'm going to get Bubba put back, and I will see you guys in a bit. But this is awesome. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, back at base. Let's get you parked up over here, I think. Yeah, right there. All right, now let's take a look at your stats. Not that good. Stamina is amazing. That's really, really good stamina. Melee damage, 314. That's okay. 1467 health. Really sucks. Really, really sucks. I need to go find more of you. Yes, I do. Definitely need to go find more of you. Okay? Because your health is not good. I don't care what Bubba says. Your health is not good. Yeah. All right. You should be embarrassed. You should be. All right, I'm embarrassed for you. We need to go find more of you and breed you because the rest of your stats are awesome. Your health is not. All right, so yeah. Oh, hey, egg. All right, so now that we've got, we, we went out, we got an Equus, and now we're going to, well, let's put the carrots on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the carrots on Bob. You can't have them. All right, you can't have them. Sorry, Bubba. I'm going to put them on Bob. The important stuff goes on Bob. All right, you get narco berries and other stuff, Bubba. But, you know, he gets, you know, eggs and carrots. All right? All right, so now let's uh, see what level does it take to make the Equus saddle. 20. That's really good. I don't know why it's level 20 if uh, it takes carrots. I mean, I've tried measure berry taming these guys. It is not easy. Not easy whatsoever. All right, so um, let's see. Do we have to make it in here? No. Alright, so crafting. Hold on. Let's see, let's uh Whoops. You No, no, no. Hold a few show engrams. Yes, thank you. Saddles, there we go. Alright, we need hide. Lots of hide. Okay, so let's put that in there. What else do we need? Um fiber. We need fiber. Okay, we've got fiber. Right, what else do we need? Uh, wood. We don't have enough wood. What else do we need? Metal. We've got metal. It's in the... right here. A hundred metal. There we go. Um, so let's go see if we can grab some more hide. Do you have any hide? Does any of you have any hide on you? Bubba, do you have any hide? Um... Let's see. I mean, what does it take to make hide? It takes a little bit of hide to make some more hide. So, let's go like this. Because I see. I spy with my little eye. Where'd you go, Parasaur? Oh, there you are. I spy with my little eye a Parasaur. And what is one of the best things, ways of getting hide? A parasaur. 
Hey, dude. Sorry. Need your hide. Give it up. Do it now. Thank you. Goodbye, dude. That's not enough. Come here. Give it up. All right. I need more. All right. I'm like just a big hide addict here. I need more. Just give me more. Yeah. Give it up. All right. Is that enough? Probably, but I'm on a roll. All right. Come here, buddy. Later, dude. All right, let's get from you. All right, so now that we've got all the hide that we need, now we need some wood. Let's go grab that stuff. That shouldn't take too long. <laughs> all right, got wood coming over here. And then... I'll have to show you something really cool with these Equa Saddles. Um, let's see. There, 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 there. Uh, saddle, Equus, there we go. All right. Come on, give it up right here. No, no, you're taking forever. All right, there we go. All right, thank you. All right, coming out here. All right, now these guys, they're saddle. It's like a mortar and pestle. Here, let me show you. All right, see, now we can actually, we can craft um, narcotics in their inventory, and then also we can craft spark powder and lassos. Lassos are really cool. Here, let me show you. You can, uh, you know, let's grab some fiber and thatch, and let me craft up a few uh, lassos and show you just how cool these things are. Let's see that. Did I use all my fiber? I have more fiber over here. I know I do. There we go. All right, so now we can take this, uh, stick this in there. One, two, three. And lassos, they weigh a lot. Three pounds each. That's quite a bit. All right, so now, let's go like this. All right, let's uh, load up this. Oh, hold on, let's come over here. Let's find something we can lasso. All right, this guy right here. All right, you want to be a guinea pig, right? All right, let's just... Oh, uh, what? There we go. All right, so now, we can just drag this guy all over. All right, let's see. Can I K-mode? There we go. See, yeah, we can just drag this guy all over. And then we can run all around. Yeah. <laughs> we can just drag him and put him wherever we want, which is pretty cool. And I'll let him go here in a minute. There you go. All right. <laughs> but yeah, all right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. So now we are in business for actually going across the... Well, not really. Now we need to go out and find another Equus and then probably mate them. Yeah. And then imprinting. We don't have the kibble to imprint. But we can at least mate them, which is pretty cool. All right, so hey, um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's been a long episode for me. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> it's been a long day. I've been AFKing a lot in the base and stuff like that. But yeah, so hey, if you like the episode, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everyone. All right.